Hey, what's up? Anthony Tyrus here. Congratulations on your new book. Uh, I know from personal experience, writing a book can be extremely difficult and a lot of tedious hours, but you know, you get out of it what you put into it. So uh, nothing but respect for you on that. Um, interesting title. The book is called Transgendered Hoops. And um, I hope that helps you on your journey and get where you're going. Of course, you uh, support you 110%. You read a book uh, and be like, wow, man, I felt the same way or I'm dealing with that. So uh, nothing but uh, success wish for your book. And um, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching The Great Gutfeld Show. Appreciate you very much. Enough said. Solutions. So this is coming from a place of being executive security. And for a short stint, I was a teacher. It wasn't bad. Just it was a pay grade. Um, <laughs> so it wasn't really funny. And when I was listening to this, because, of course, first of all, if we outlawed guns tomorrow, mm -hmm. no more guns in this country, all you would do would be opening the business market for the black market. Just like we said, no drugs and drugs yeah. still get pushed in this country. And then we have no idea what was out there. So that's not that, that's just not who we are. We, yeah. we have freedom of speech and we're going to have guns. That's what we're, our country's built on. Tell us a little bit, just a little bit, um, no spoilers to my here about the, the book. About okay. The well, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's so hard to avoid getting into it, but, but I'll, here's how it goes. Um, the story's about nine guys, high school boys, that are basically uh, get put in a bad situation by abusive coaches. And I, and I know you've got a kid that plays hockey, so... If you, you've either had at some point in your life a bad coach or you've seen them in action on other teams and, and us as parents, it's so hurtful and it makes you so angry. So you get to see what happens. And that's kind of what sparks this whole story. It was written. It was written really as a, a, a fictional sports novel to get your interest into it. And, and that's what happens in the story. That's what sparks it. These poor, poor boys have. Uh, no chance of going to college. They had these great college dreams of playing sports and earning a scholarship. Without that scholarship, they have no chance of going to college. Um, so in rolls into the story to two gentlemen that kind of transform and changed these young men's lives, um, not in a, good, in a good way for them, but not in a good way for the rest of the world. And, and, and what happens is uh, they find a loophole in the system. Um, and we all know what that loophole is. Um, it's, it's that blind political correctness that enables you to, in, in one second, be able to say, I, I choose to identify as a female, and now I'm allowed to play in women's sports. I'm allowed to play against girls the next day without taking any hormones, without doing any kind of surgeries, without seeing anyone. You just selectively do it. And that's what sparks the story, these... Um, Nine boys have an event that pulls them together from four different high schools here in Cincinnati. Uh, I won't mess that up. You got to read it to get it. But uh, and they move on and, and they have great success and they use. As bad as it is, they end up using that political correctness and that identifying as female as, as like a force field for them. They're untouchable because everybody knows that the PC sledgehammer will come down on you hard if you buck up against them. So they, they take advantage of that. Um, story goes on and, and you're really going to have to read it. But, but the end of the story is that point to where realization hits and that gut check. And it'll be that gut check for every reader that reads the book about what have I done? Um, basically, in the process of doing this to help nine boys, I've burned Title IX to the ground. I've destroyed women's sports. It's, it's, um, that that that's over. So that's kind of, I guess, the little spoiler alert part. That uh, that's kind of short, short the version. Reality. Yeah. The reality. We have almost half the states now letting children do this. Identify. Well, that leads us to my next question. Answers a little bit of it. Why? Why now? Why did you write this book? Oh, um, the good question. Um, 
I started uh, actually started to see the different stories on TV and, and the young lady that's right behind you on the wall uh, <laughs> was yeah. one of those that sparked. Yeah, Selena. And that's my my littlest name is also Selena with a C instead of an S. But I saw the story that uh, what happened to her um, and, and just being a coach and a trainer and, and just being around girls my whole life, I was crushed. I mean, it really hurt me to my core um, because I know I've seen things happen to kids that that are out of their control. And that's what this was. Uh, you know, she got something taken away from her. She'd worked for her whole life and it really hurt. Um, and that really sparked me to get thinking about this whole subject. And then I ended up discovering your site. And then it kind of sent me on this avenue of uh, seeing all of these males that were competing against females. And it was like, this isn't okay. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a nice person, but uh, this just doesn't work. And, and that's kind of the thing that geared me towards making this, uh, writing this story. It's what sparked me, I guess you'd say. Yeah, it's really unfair what these young girls have had to go through. And yeah. for those that aren't aware, that is Selena Sewell there. She is the first athlete to really step up in the United States. And she's a high school athlete who in Connecticut has had to race against transgender boys in track and field and has lost out many opportunities because of that. Um, she's lucky to be joined now by a few other athletes in a complaint, a Title IX complaint against the Department of Education. So luckily the Alliance Defending Freedom is helping them with that. Um, and thankfully we have people like you helping us raise awareness of it.